Hi everybody, my name's Ed Rice, I'm Technical Manager for Artechnic. We're doing something a little bit different today, we're going to go inside our test room and we're going to take a look at PRVs or pressure reducing valves. And what we want to do is take a look at the relationship between the reduction in pressure and the reduction in flow. So let's go inside and let's have a look. So what I want today's video to focus on is the relationship between the reduction in pressure and the reduction in flow. Well, what is the relationship between reducing the pressure within a pressure reducing valve and what happens to the flow that comes through the valve. Now, obviously, as we've discussed in other videos, we have the, the force upon the diaphragm is how we start to reduce that pressure. There's a spring in there, we change the tension of the spring against the diaphragm, and that changes what happens to the pressure. But it's inevitably it's going to have an impact on what happens to the flow. So we've got a little rig set up here, and what we're going to try and do is we're going to start with the valve on, on its maximum open, so we've got its highest, uh, highest pressure setting, and we're going to start to reduce that pressure down, bring it lower, and we're going to have a look at what impact that has on the flow. So we'll head over to the test rig now, we'll have a look. Okay, so here we are now at our test rig. Now I think it's first of all important to look at what are our supply conditions that we're gonna be testing to. So our booster set, that's set to about five and a half bar. So we've got five and a half bar on the incoming into the pressure reducing valve. Now this valve is set to somewhere between sort of three and four, valve, uh, three and four bar. So that's what we're going to do. It's, it's, it's upper limits of what it can be set to, um, but it's also going to allow the most flow through the valve at any one time. Now, the important thing to remember for the, for the sake of this video is that we are using controlled test conditions. So the figures that I talk about are all controlled, all representative of what I can do through this test rig itself. So what we'll do now, we'll open it up and then we'll start to reduce the pressure um, and we'll see what happens to the relative flow. So when we, when we fully open the valve, we've got a flow right here of roughly uh, about 30 litres a minute is what we're looking at as 30 litres. So if we now start to reduce the pressure through the valve, we're going to start to imply, start to increase the, uh, the stress on the, on the seat. We're starting to put in, compress that spring and we're starting to drop it down. So now we're dropping down to sort of two, one and a half bar and we've already dropped by five litres a minute. So we're around about 26 litres a minute now is where we're looking at through the flow right through the valve. Now if we continue to decrease that down to one bar, so like 23 litres a minute still, drop it down even more. So if we drop it down to about half a bar, we are down somewhere around about 16, 17 litres a minute. So we've dropped from 30 down to sort of 15, so we've halved that flow rate that's coming through the valve, and that's all representative of what's going on with inside that valve. The water's coming in, it's hitting the diaphragm, it's hitting that spring, and that's obviously reducing the pressure, but it's also having an impact on the flow. So it's very important that when you are specifying these valves, that you look at where the, the installation is going to be. Are you looking for a whole property? Are you doing points of use pressure reduction? And all these things need to be considered when installing the valve like this and setting your pressures. So I hope that's explained a little bit of the relationship between the reduction in pressure and the reduction in flow. You are creating restrictions within the valve, so that is going to have an impact on what the flow is coming out the other side. Now, if you'd like to find the information on our, on our uh, series of, of pressure reducing valves or any other of our valves, head over to our website, which is www.altechnic.co.uk, and you'll find a raft of information from uh, product videos, from data sheets, IOMs, technical submittals, and all of the stuff that goes on around Altechnic. Alternatively, head over to our YouTube page and make sure you hit subscribe, and you'll find a lot of our short videos there on sort of training videos on products etc but also we have a magazine called Hydronics UK which is industry focused news but news that's going on within our techniques so search for Hydronics UK and hit subscribe there as well and I thank you all for watching and I hope to we'll see you again soon